We're back with the W124 swap project where uh, we're finishing up an OM606 diesel swap. The problem we ran into last time was the car wouldn't start because of the immobilizer. So what we're doing now is we've pulled out the ECM from the car and we've acquired a couple of extra things to help us defeat the immobilizer so we can get it started. What we have here is uh, just a very basic programmer that's going to allow us to program the original immobilizer chip to change some values. Over here we have an immobilizer defeat device called a CR1 that we're going to solder into the board that will simulate the immobilizer. And of course we have our ECM and we have a programmer that's going to be used in conjunction with this device. What we're going to do now is we've removed the cover from the ECM. We're going to remove the board and flip it over. And what we'll be working on is over here the immobilizer chip which is a very very tiny one as you can see here this is an Atmel AT24C02A type chip so we're gonna use our hot air gun here heat this up and get it removed once we remove it we're gonna install it to our device here so we can plug it into the laptop and change some values for the immobilizer So we've got our hot air gun here going and what we're going to do is we're going to heat up this chip down here. I'm just going to pulse it with air for a while and then once the solder gets soft enough we're going to lift it off and pull it out. And you want to try to focus on the solder points and try not to heat the actual chip. So now that we pull the chip off, we've got the orientation here on the daughter board. As you can see, there are four strips where, on each side where the four legs of the chip line up on each side. So our friend here is going to solder this onto the daughter board and once it's soldered on, we're going to attach it to our USB programmer and plug it into the laptop so we can flash it. So what we're going to do is we're going to solder in these adapters into the top row and the bottom row of this daughter board so we can insert it into our USB adapter. So our friend here has soldered in the pins on the adapter board. As you can see they're running down uh, parallel to the numbers on the board and you can see how they fit in back here. So what we're going to do now is we are going to make sure that the, the lever on our board here is flipped up and we're going to insert these guys so they occupy the first four spaces closest to the lever and then clamp the lever down which will cause it to be tight. 
Now once that's clamped down, we can insert it into the computer here and we're going to use the CH341A programmer to go ahead and program it. You can see that the board here is activated now and our computer will probably tell us shortly to finish installing the driver and at which point we should be able to read the chip. So what we're going to do here is we're going to change the values in this 00040 field and where we have 5E that is going to go to D4 and then the next one will be 13 and then the next one will be 56 and then the last set is 00 and those four fields are all the changes that are required so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and save this uh, we'll call it changed MB bin so we know that we've made the changes and so we're gonna save a copy of that once we've saved a copy of that we're gonna go ahead and program our chip and if you look down here in the bottom it'll show that it's been programmed and how quickly it did it and now that it's been programmed we're gonna hit verify and to make sure that what we have on our laptop and what is on the chip is the same and once more before we desolder the chip we'll just do a read and just make sure that we have D141356 Zero, 00 showing there and now that that's done we're gonna go ahead and close out the software remove the chip and use some hot air to desolder it from the daughter board so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put some hot air on this guy remove it and put it back on the board where it was originally and reassemble that portion of the ECM Our next step is to install the CR1 emulator and what we'll be doing is we're going to be soldering wires to the can high and low and then to the plus 12 volt and the ground over here on the side. So we have those four points and we have it over here in our diagram. Uh, the can high and low will go on the bottom side of the ECM and uh, the ground will go to this leg here and the plus will go to a 12 volt source up on top of the board.
we've uh, attached the CR1 emulator and we are now reassembling the ECM. The emulator, as you can see, is installed there. The CAN high and CAN low have been connected as well as power and ground. So now we're going to put, put the ECM together and give it a test start. Uh, if everything works out, the car should be running. If it does not, we might have to make some more programming changes or modifications.